This is State Representative Tom Bennett with an update from the Illinois State Capitol for August 16, 2017. With schools starting classes this week and next, the legislature has still been unable to come together on a plan to fund our schools. As a quick recap, in May, House and Senate Democrats passed Senate Bill 1, a bill which reformed the school funding formula, but also bailed out the Chicago Teachers Pension Fund at the expense of all the other schools in the state. For some reason, they held on to the bill for two months before sending it to Governor Rauner for action. If they had not done that, the debate we are having now would have been resolved weeks ago. But once he got the bill, Governor Rauner used his mandatory veto powers to remove the Chicago bailout and sign the rest of the bill into law. But in order for it to become law in its amended form, a majority of the House and Senate would have to go along with him. Instead, the Senate met on Sunday and voted to override the governor's action, restoring the Chicago bailout. Rather than negotiate a compromise, today the House met but did not act on Senate Bill 1. Instead, in a mostly symbolic action, Speaker Madigan called upon a different bill and then voted it down on the floor. Pure political theater. Many House Republicans voted present rather than participate in this charade. No one voted for it, not even its sponsor. The latest word we have now is that the leaders of both parties in each House will meet on Friday and the House will be back in session next week. It's possible that the House could try to override the governor's veto, thus enacting the law with the Chicago bailout included. Or the leaders could reach an agreement and then present that agreement to us for a vote. We need serious discussion about this important issue, far more serious than theatrics that we saw today. Political games created an artificial crisis by dragging this into August when it could have been done weeks ago. Now those same political priorities are getting in the way of enacting a bill to give adequate and equitable state funding to all of our public schools without sending millions to bail out a Chicago pension fund. There's still time to reach a negotiated agreement and I hope the parties can come together very soon. Education is too important for these political games.